So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, first of all, I'll call the meeting to order. Um, and uh, my name is Charlie Foskett. I'm chair of the Finance Committee. And the first thing we'll do is take attendance. Uh, Grant Gibbon. Here. In person. Shane Blundell. John Ellis. Kaya Healy. Brian Beck. Arif Padaria. Yes. Sophie Migliazzo. Here. Jonathan Wallach, uh, Shailene Pokris, Daryl Harmer. Here. Uh, Annie LaCourt. Here. Alan Jones. Here. Uh -huh. George, George Koser. Bill Keller. I'm here. Thank you. Al Tassi. Here. Christine Deschler. Here. Dean Carmen. Here. And David McKenna. Here. So oh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve members present. So we have a quorum. So uh, first thing um, is we have three minutes that uh, were distributed. Um, I've read them. They look, were, they look uh, complete and uh, to the point. Any any questions or editing or comments on any of the minutes? None. So uh, a motion to approve the minutes, is those three minutes of May. Um, 16th, 18th, and 25th. 16th, yeah, May, May 16th, 18th, and 25th. The motion to approve those minutes is in order. So moved. So moved. So moved. Okay, so, uh, so it's been moved and seconded. Uh, we'll take a vote on the minutes, Grant Gibeon. Yes. Shane Blundell. Oh no, we'll just go down the list of Arif. Yes. Sophie. Yes. Uh, Daryl Harmer. Um, I don't think I was there, so I'm just abstaining. Abstaining. Uh, Annie. Yes. Alan Jones. Yes. Uh, Bill Keller. Yes. Al Fasti. Yes. Christine yes. Bachelor. Herman. Yes. And David McKenna. Yes. So the minutes are approved. Thank you very much. So the, the first and um, first major item of business tonight is the uh, interest of our town comptroller to have us review and vote upon end of the year transfers. So Ida, can we uh, turn the uh, floor over to you to explain what you've sent out to the committee? Sure, good evening everyone. Ida Cody, town controller. Um, I believe you received the memo, so I'm not gonna cover every bullet. Um, this year is kind of light in terms of um, the requests are kind of light in terms of departments. We only have two departments requesting transfers. The town manager is requesting $10,000 to cover uh, the vacation payout. And then we have the fire department. Um, this is um, um, a little more significant um, of a request. Uh, they need $200,000. Um, this is broken out in 152,000 for salaries and $48,000 for the expenses. Um, the main reasons for this uh, shortage is, and this on the salary side is because they had eight employees on um, extended leave. They had five employees in injury leave and um, they also have eight uh, um, vacancies. And on the expense side, they, um, uh, they actually had a medical settlement. They had to pay $63,000 um, to um, retired firefighters, who, firefighter who retired 30 years ago, and he had a knee replacement, and um, they settled on $63,000. And uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Any questions for the controller? What? Uh, Autopsy. Um, the eight vacant positions there, I assume is that money still still in the budget and will revert to the general fund or is this 200,000 net of already using all that money? So everything it's account is accounted for uh, up until today. The only uh, money that were, weren't charged is 80% of the payroll of the last week of this, um, of this fiscal year. Um, there isn't turned back because um, we actually covered these positions and um, some of the, uh, the people that we hired 
they were getting, so it's, it's kind of like a double hit. They were hired, we were paying them salary and we also sent them to the academy to be trained. So these positions had to be filled with overtime. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for Ida? So Ida, I have a question. Um, it says on your memo that there were 30 employees out on COVID leave at various times throughout the year. Didn't we get COVID funding from the federal government to pay we for that? Did. Yep, we did. And we still, we, we used all the COVID funding. We used $4 million to all together um, in the whole, uh, in the town, in CARES money. And this is not, uh, this is independent of the $10 million that we got from the American Recovery Plan Act or whatever it's called? So we only got $4 million in CARES money and then we got $36 million separate on ARPA money. But the $4 million was uh, spent over two fiscal years. And, and um, it did not cover this uh, these 30 employees? Some of it was covered, but not all of it. So, um, so why, uh, I, I sent you an email today asking whether or not, we, what, what ex we expected to get in, um, in, in certified free cash in, in September um, and, and why we're not uh, just transferring this money out of the um, budgets that would be going into free cash at the end of the year. So it doesn't matter where we take the money, whether we take the money from the reserve fund or whether we take it from other departments that have a surplus, the, um, uh, the effect is gonna be on the free cash is gonna be the same, the money will be spent. So what if we don't take it from the reserve fund and we, we turn it to the free cash, and if we take it from the other departments, we'll turn back less to the free cash. Um, typically, um, I understand that, I mean, I've been here three years and we've always done it through the um, reserve fund transfers. Uh, and I understand that it's, the, uh, it's always been done this way in Arlington, not from the departments, from the surplus of other departments. Well, I'm not sure that's the case. Um, we have transferred money from, uh, for example, uh, expenses to personnel, et cetera, inside departments uh, at the end of the year. But, we can, but we, you're right, if, if it comes from the departments or whether it comes from free cash, if it comes from the departments, the free cash back, I'm sorry, the reserve fund back in the free cash will be higher. So it's, it's, uh, it doesn't make any difference. It does make any difference. And everything that's not spent closes to the free cash. Uh, the only difference is that if we take it from the other departments, we need the departments that they um, um, they give up the, the funds. We need their written approval. And it also has to be done through the select board and with the approval of the fine fin FinCom as well. Okay, thank you. So um, is there, are there any further questions for Ida on the reserve fund transfers? No, no I have a comment. <laughs> Make a comment before we vote. Yeah, well, you, we usually have a motion and a discussion, so I know when you want me to do it. Um, you know, my only note is, and this goes before your time, but so I'm going to accept this like explanation and everything, but I, I do want to note that prior to Bob Jefferson being fire chief, um, the fire department had a real problem coming in there under budget or in budget every year. They had these annual reserve fund transfers and then the chief retires and we're immediately back to reserve fund transfers so i, I can accept it to some degree that this is possibly a one-time issue but if it i i really hope we don't have we're not doing this again next year and with the fire department like this truly is extraordinary and it's not a return to how it used to be just my comment, you don't have to respond. Yeah, I, I actually, I looked at the uh, uh, reports for fiscal year 20 and fiscal year 21, and I see that the fire turned back in fiscal, in 20, they turned back $120,000. And in fiscal year 21, they turned back $198,000. 
this is the fighting. first time I've been here that they they um they came in short. Uh, agreed. I mean, I, if you went back before Bob Jefferson, it was like consistent overruns. So something to watch out for. Yep. Any other questions? Bob was never short. Comments? <laughs> Any other questions or comments? Uh, so a motion is in order to um, accept um, the recommend or the, the request of um, the town comptroller for a total transfer from the reserve fund of two hundred and ten thousand dollars to cover forty eight thousand dollars in expenses and one hundred and sixty two thousand dollars in uh, salaries. So moved. Um, is there a second? Did you say one hundred sixty two? I think it was one hundred fifty two. Um, it says. It's 152 from fire, but it's 10,000 from the management. Yep. Okay. It's up to 162,000. Yep. yep. Okay, so it's been moved and seconded. Any further questions or comments? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. Uh, Grant Gibeon? Yes. Harif um, Padaria? Yes. Sophie Migliazzo? Yes. Daryl Harmer? Yes. Any look court? Yes. Alan Jones? Yes. Uh, Bill Keller? Yes. Al Tassi? Yes. Deschler? Yes. Dean Carmen? Yes. And David McKenna? I'm sure it's someplace. Oh. Is David here? Yeah, he is. Let me just. Um... David McKenna? He says yes. Yes. Cool. Okay, <laughs> David McKenna, visual yes, raise his hand. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, either your transfer request is approved, uh, I'll sign it and I'll scan it and send it to you tomorrow. Okay, hey, Mr. Chair, thank you so much. Don't, go Wait, don't go away. Yet. Yes, I'm yeah, I, I was just wondering the, the four million in CARES money that's been spent is there, could we get an accounting of, of where all that money went? Um, yeah, sure, I can give you reports. Yeah. Thank you. When might we get that? I'm sorry? When might we get that? Um, how about uh, next week? That'd be fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Alan. Um, are you from Buddha or Pest? Bucharest, <laughs> not, did you go to Budapest or Bucharest? Bucharest, Romania. Bucharest. Budapest. Uh, Budapest. Budapest is in Hungary. Right, that's where I was. Didn't I say that? You said Bucharest. You said Bucharest. Sorry, my mistake. Hungary. Oh, okay. So not so jealous then, huh? No, I'm not jealous. That's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Edith. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So. Um, oh, well. But it was a good trip, just to say. <laughs> well, it's weird that Buddha is on one side yeah. and Pest yeah. is on the other, and they brought them together. So it's like Boston King. Yeah. Like Did you go to the baths, the Roman baths? No, didn't have a bathing suit. They weren't willing to be liberal about this. <laughs> okay, so the, the next item on the agenda is the um, election of officers for next year, beginning July 1st. So, um, Tara. Yes. Can where everyone... are we on uh, nominations? Uh, yes. So, um, can everyone see my screen? No. Um, hold on. Unless we all log in on our phone. Yeah, hold on a sec. Let me try to do this here. I can see just as well. As well, <laughs> that's not going to help a lot of people. <laughs> Wait for it. Do we have that as a document somewhere? No. I mean, it's in the drive. You know what, actually? Can you just send it to, by email? To yeah, them? well, you know what? If someone else wants to share their screen who's in the Zoom meeting, I can show them where it, uh, where it is. Yeah, just send it to everyone. So one of them yeah, I'll send it to everyone right now. Just, uh, pop it up. Can we just write it on the board like in the old days? No. Yeah, I could do that. Where is the board? Oh, yeah. Guys can't then they, they can't see it on the screen. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Hybrid <laughs> meeting. Well, can, can you all on this on the virtual Zoom see my screen? See, they can see it. So I can yeah. just write it up on the board for yeah. you all. Okay. okay. 
Can you just send that email? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I think email's fine. We, we're not rushed. She does. She sends email at two in the morning. I get up at two thirty and read them right away. Why are you getting up at two thirty? I used to write all my emails at seven at six a.m. Everyone thought I was up at six a.m. I just said, yeah. 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 I just, I, our tour went from Amsterdam to Budapest. Oh, wow. 15 days. How long was it? 68 walks. Yeah. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Yeah. My wife and I cycled down to Daniel years ago. Yeah, they've got some beautiful paths along the Can you send it? I just sent it. And I will also write it on the board. Actually, I don't know if we're supposed to write on that board because it looks like a. Yeah, you can write on it. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure it looks like a smart board? Do you see the pens? Oh, okay. They have special pens. Okay. Try it on the bottom first. They're called some. Yeah, yeah. This is number six. Remember, this is an This is an armed building. He couldn't wipe it off. You know what? I don't think I don't officer in this building is going to shoot her over writing on the screen. I don't think that this is a. It's just, it's not. It's just like an eraser. It's not like a board. All right. So, never mind. Okay. We're never gonna mind. Get the email or we're going to get into office. <laughs> Do it. Just go uh, in. The, how about you got we it? just, yeah, just announce I can just announce it. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so far for officer nominations, we've received for chair Christine Deschler, Dean Carmen, and Annie LaCourt. And then for vice chair, we've seen, uh, we've received Christine Deschler, Dean Carmen, Annie LaCourt, Alan Jones, George Koser, and Daryl Harmer. Does anyone else have any other nominations that they would like to share before nominations are closed? That's the next. Okay, okay so no more nominations. So nominations I'm are sorry, closed. Was Alan Jones on that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, so uh, at this point, anyone who has been nominated now has the opportunity to decline their nomination. Okay, so Dean is withdrawing his nomination from both chair and oh, yeah. vice chair. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Um, so is, need, what's that? I need to withdraw my nomination from chair, but I would like to remain as nominated to be a vice chair. Okay. So. Um, to reiterate that for everyone, for chair, we have Christine Deschler as a candidate. For vice chair, we have Annie LaCourt, Alan Jones, George Koser, and Daryl Harmer. We also have Christine Deschler, but we're going to vote on chair first. So she'd be removed if she wins this now on she contested race. Down. <laughs> she could step down. That's true. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, so we have. So, so um, we were going to do a uh, confidential paper vote, but I think if we have one candidate, uh, we can do a voice do vote. Half promotion, yes. Yeah. So okay. Go ahead. Speech. Oh. Speech. Speech. Okay. Yeah. Speech. So okay. So nominations are closed. Okay. So we're going to do it with what? Raise hands or something then? Uh, just yeah. All, all in favor of Christine Deschler. Oh, okay. So all in favor of Christine Deschler as chair of the finance committee, raise your hand in Zoom or Dave, Whatever. you can just raise your hand. Okay. Dave, hey, unanimous. I don't, oh yeah, there's Christine's hand. Okay, <laughs> great. Okay, <laughs> great. Okay, so 
Congratulations, Christine. Congratulations, Christine. Thank you all. I'm very humbled. Okay, so the next one we will actually do so the ballots. Let me uh, do the following here. We've got this little pad of paper. So the remote people can send an email to Tara at her personal email address with your selections for vice chairs. Now I'm going to give each person three sheets of paper. Does everyone on Zoom have my personal email address, the Gmail? Mm -hmm. Tara W. Bradley at Gmail? Cool. Does everyone have a pen? No. Oh. No. No. I'm sorry. I have some writing utensils. I could send you an email. Yes, you could send me an email. <laughs> Who would like to share a pen with someone? I will. I will share. I have one. I will share. This is where I stand. Where am I being? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> So what do we do with three pieces of paper now? Because they're they're they're. A Tara, I'm sorry. What what's your email? It's uh it's Tara W Bradley at Gmail. I can just send you an email, Daryl. Okay. Thank you. One name on each. Piece one name on each paper. One name on each sheet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what he said. Oh, oh, and then I'll count them up. I see what you're doing there. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's me, Daryl, Allen, and George Costa, right? Right. Yes. Four options. Three seats. Are you still, still a tax suspendable? No one can email me. <laughs> yes. Do we have writing votes? Is that relevant? So, so who are the who are the candidates now? <laughs> Christine Nash was. So um, Daryl Harmer, George Koser, Alan, Alan Jones, Jones, and, and Annie Lacour. Actually, can I have some paper for the? Where is the ballot box? It's right here. For, for virtual yeah. people? Yeah, oh, they're emailing time. me. Well, I guess I can just do it. Yeah, 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 no, no. Thanks. Tara, okay. Tara, have you sent the email yet? I just did. Yeah. Open an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> just messing. Oh, there. Do it out. Start. What's that? Who's that there? Okay. Thank you. While you're going over the next Don't peek. Don't peek. Yeah, no, no, no peek here. Okay. Here's the ballot box. Right here. Thank you. Look at the glasses. This is so here exciting. You, you haven't had a real election. Hi, Dave. Okay, let me just. Let me just grab a pen. Sorry, this is kind of a kind of a mess here. <laughs> you gathered that it's as well organized as it is. No, no, okay, I'm ready. Sarah, I, I just sent mine. This is Daryl. Oh, I'll go in the other room. Yeah, but it's going to be on the. <laughs> <laughs> I get caught in the show. All right, bye bye. Well, have fun. I show it to my kids. Have fun. We have to finish by 8 30 because Tara has a concert. No, we, we don't. Yeah. Are you in Buddha or Mike? I probably have the list. How long are you in Budapest? How long are you in Budapest? Oh, just two days. Should have been one day. One but, day. Oh, but then uh, the British Airways canceled my flights. Terrible. Did you um, take a boat trip on the Danube? Oh, yeah. All the way down, all the way from Amsterdam, down the uh, Rhine, off in the main canals. Do we know that George Coaster wants this position? No. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach them to sh not show up. We'll burn that bridge. That's exactly right. We'll burn that bridge. That, that is like, you know, <laughs> you know. He was the one talking about being retired and stuff. So yeah, look, look, time, look, look, public company, so public company board governance 101. Yeah. When they vote the audit committee, don't be in the bathroom. Because right. we'll return from the bathroom <laughs> on the audit. It is a time honored tradition, right? Any problem. It's the same thing here. Six miles. Lost in Hawaii. 1,100. That's why it's fear of missing out. It's fear of being assigned. Yeah, went, oh, I'm busy. I don't think I want to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you did. The trick is the trick is to either have a lifetime membership. That's why I have a one of the things I wanted to see was. Gee, do we go by the road bridge of Lockhart? Yeah, World War II. Well, there is no bridge of Lockhart. It was just a couple of pillars. And, and yes, he said, we'll go by at three o'clock in the morning. Scratch that. Which bridge was this? What bridge? The bridge of Lockhart. The ones the Allies got. Yeah. Great movie. I'm sorry. That was a great movie. Yeah. There's a movie. Uh, Bridge too far. I think. No, that was the uh, the British paratroop effort. I know. That was a bridge too far. Market Garden. Right, Market Garden. I feel like I spent my whole childhood watching old World War II movies. Well, they weren't old at the time, but I thought they were old because I was ten. On the Korpov movie. Like I could probably name 10 films that I saw that were all about World War II on the four o'clock movie. Okay, I'm gonna recount them just really quick. Oh, oh, oh. Just to make sure. How close is it? Oh. It's close enough. I just wanna be, you know, yep. I just wanna be thorough. No rush. Okay. It's only eight o'clock. We got plenty of time. Mr. Sure Sorry, say we just need you to find 10 more votes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Tara, right now you have the power <laughs> that some people wanted Mike Pence to have. You can just sway it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't like results. Exchange of spies with the Russians. Yeah. 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 George, oh, right. George, George of Simon Pinocchio. Right. 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 I love to watch if you watch old World War II movies that were made during the war. Some of them Very are really interesting. They don't meet the uh, politically correct. Um, no, but they show the political. Um, yeah. Even the cartoons were politically correct. Yeah, they show the temperatures. One is interesting because it's uh, baseball Batan. It was made in the war, it was about, you know, fighting off the Japanese at a bridge. Like Everybody died, but no, this is Batan. The movie Batan with uh, Robert Taylor, a whole bunch of other people. You know, they got knocked off one at a time. But if you're looking at racial aspects of a movie, this was really interesting to watch because there's one black guy in you know, South African, you know, trooper or something like that, and. He's always separate. You know, he's firing his guns separately from the other guys who are firing their guns. That's because when this movie is played in the South, he's eliminated. Uh, I, I not sure, but he's maybe not eliminated, but de-emphasized. Whenever they had Lena Horne sing in other movies, she was always separate. So when the movies were made down south, they were cut back. It, it's uh, we spent uh, three days in Normandy uh, last month, and it's phenomenal. <laughs> and I want to go back to see every World War II film. 
yes. whether it's involved in Utah or I don't know, the beaches, Palm Beach, beach or not. Very, very sobering, somber area. Now, were you on a, like a tour or did you do it yourself? No, we took a tour. We decided we like to do our, we like to do most of the things ourselves. This we wanted a tour. We got a very highly recommended tour group. So we got up to Bayer, Bayer, yeah. and then from there, uh, we spent a whole day, eight in the morning to eight at night, on two or nine. Yeah, could have done it ourselves. So it's marvelous. You know, it's certain movies, there's also, uh, you know, these things called books. Uh, yeah, I know you've read a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have a runoff. <laughs> what? We have a runoff. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Okay. So um Alan Jones won, Daryl Harmer won, and we have eight and eight for Laporte and Coaster. So we need to do it again. Right? Okay. No, I uh, don't we have like uh okay. right so, so, I have so, 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 So I have 35 and there's one person I know who only voted for two people. Okay. Okay. So do you know who it is? We could force them to vote. Um, so uh, do we we'll want to yeah, let's just do, do it, it again do between quick, the two? Okay. Quick run up. Let's get some more sticky notes oh, around. Nice okay, so everyone on Zoom, it's um, if you could just send me an email with either yeah, Annie Laporte's name or Joe Coaster's name for this special runoff thing we're doing now. Oh, wait, hold on. I can take that. So, so we, need, we only need one. Going back, want you to pay. Going back to the question, do we know George No, no, we don't. George, George may not even want to hear it. I know, I know. Can we check? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Right, bye. Yep. Thanks. Bye. Andy, that one. Yep. No, uh, else else you it. Yeah. Don't worry. I, I try not to. Yeah. I'm going to random. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, I I I'm going to borrow a sticky note Thank on behalf you. of Dave. Yeah, right. Thank you. I want me to go down and that's what we Here's your pen back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Yes. Shall I put you in? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Next time we'll do rank choice. Yeah. Yeah. That's too hard. We'd be here till nine o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Not necessarily. Yes, in the community voting committee to come and help. Right. That's what I'm afraid of. Well, what else? What choice have you? I mean, what choice do we have? Somebody else can think of a better way of doing it. Is that everyone in person? So is that a private did you vote? That a I did. You got it? Okay. And then um, I believe I am still waiting for one person online to do it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 of course, it doesn't have all the pressure of the of the yeah, police for oh, no, you know, know, discussing uh, so much more enterprise three D that we do on two D. So how are you doing? No, no, okay. But I know that was going to be the last chimney of your house. Are you on a cape or a ranch? Neither. We have a cape which turned into a colonial. Oh, okay, just 20 years ago. Scraped off the ground. Oh, yeah. It's a beauty. It's a good night. It may have been a cape. Uh, uh, I, mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know how long ago that was. Yeah, if it was an old, during an older campaign or something, you may have still clear still up. But it's a colonial now. What are you going to get to your catering or whatever? Take out the popcorn. I think it was a tape when I was there. 
the place next door to it. And you haven't been in my house in a long time, Charlie. I think it was around a time. Did you have that this way? Is that? Oh gosh, no. We'd already we'd already done the upstairs. Oh, you did. Yeah, I think so. I can't remember. Like did a lot. It's quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I did my bat mitzvah between the girls. So I'm going to do my 2006 or 2007. Okay, we have a result now. It's Annie. Okay, so, congratulations. Yes, thank you. We're good. Okay. We even tell George. Something you might have wanted. We didn't get what he didn't want. Daryl, congratulations, Daryl. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Congratulations, Alan. Yeah. Okay, so we have voted for officers. We've uh, approved the uh, minutes. The minutes, and we have spent uh, two hundred and ten thousand two hundred. Okay. How much did we vote on the? One hundred sixty-two. One hundred sixty-two thousand. Two hundred ten. Two hundred ten. Two hundred ten. Two sixty-two. Two sixty-two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, what I'm hoping is we didn't spend a large chunk of that four million on stuff that we didn't need to. But, oh, so, are you kidding? <laughs> Probably half of it's been spent on stuff we didn't. Need. So we could have spent. Yeah. Oh, okay, so uh, I, I think our business this evening it is over. It had to be spent on certain things. Any, Sorry, yes. Know. Before we go, um, people out on Yeah. Justine, can we? We just because. So let me tell you why I'm going to say. So I'm, I'm hearing. I start to hear rumblings that the select board may be thinking about a spring of 2023 override. And the people who are going to plan the override are almost certainly not going to wait until the spring to start working on it, to start working on it now. So over the summer. So can we, and, and as we know, let's go through tradition, right? They're going to ask the chair, the finance committee, and the vice chairs, someone to be that, a co chair of the campaign. So just we're all on the same page. Can we just go over the rules of, you know, supporting candidates versus supporting overrides? Because one's okay and one's not. And okay. I just want to make sure we're so, all on the same page. So the first of all, um, I I honestly can't recall. I think we did. We we we've always voted as a committee, right? Yes. On, yes. on whether or not we supported an, an override position. Right. Yeah. And um, there's no restriction. And by the way, it's a, it's a practical restriction, not a uh, bylaw restriction, a legal restriction. But there's never been any restriction on um, finance committee members supporting referenda, but there or statewide candidates. But there's always been a restriction in practice of finance committee members supporting local candidates. So uh, I think you know, for my Position. Hopefully, that's the way we'll continue. I think that's pretty fair. That's been our tradition. It's probably written. In, is that written in the uh, policy manual? I believe so. Yeah. 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 so. It's also a great excuse. <laughs> it is. So you can sort of duck uh, touching situations. Um, so, the one other thing, Dean, you usually make your motion um, with respect to transfers. But just in oh, case something that? else needs to happen, let the chair do it. Did I didn't do this already. Wait, did last week. That's fine. So I move. Oh, no, 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 no. I move if any. I don't know what the word we are. Is it material and consequential? Like I don't. No, it, it, I think as I recall, the, the motion is that that um, that any uh, required transfers from the. Reserve fund up to ten thousand dollars can be authorized by That's the yes. chair alone, and um, fifty thousand with the vice chair. Fifty thousand with uh, with the vice chair. Yeah. So from the beginning of the next fiscal year, July one, the next time the finance committee convenes, we need to make an appropriation out of the reserve fund. I move that the chair allowed to unilaterally be able to make transfers up to ten thousand dollars out of the reserve fund. And then with the authority of one other vice chair, make a transfer out to fifty thousand dollars out of reserve fund. Second, two vice chairs. Two vice chairs. Yeah. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Did you have all that? Down yes. There? Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none. Um, 
Vote is in order. Uh, Grant Gibbon. Yes. Uh, Brian, are you the area? Yes. Sophie? Yes. Uh, Carol? Yes. Amy LaCourt? Yes. Alan Jones? Yes. Keller? Yes. Alan Tassi? Yes. Christine Deschler? Yes. Harmon? Yes. And David McKenna? Yes. The vote is unanimous. Great. So, having taken care of all the major business of the evening, a motion to adjourn is in order. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Hearing no objections, we're adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>